Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about Sabrent's latest M.2 SSD and right here we have the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus G with 2 terabytes of storage and this one is particularly quite interesting because what they designed here is not only good for current games but also uh, let's say uh, future proof for future gaming. Now what we're going to talk about today I'm going to give you some benchmark synthetic and real life and of course some interesting specifications of this one so let's go. Hi everyone my name is Dario from PC Crazy and as already stated we're going to talk about Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus G a Gen 4x4 M.2 SSD which really does work quite outstanding. So let's without further ado talk about some general specifications and features that this SSD has. Now as I already stated Rocket 4 Plus G is a solid foundation for now and for the future gaming. Works with Direct Storage API for Windows 11 and it also reduces load times and VRM overhead. Now this is a standard M.2 2280 with PCI Gen 4x4. It has Fison E18 controller. It has DRAM DDR4, SK Hinx 8 gigabits or 1 gigabit in a 512MX 16-bit configuration for a total of 2 gigabytes with both packages. Flash modules are EA7BG94AYA and each of the eight modules has 256 gigabytes NAND flash or 464 gigabytes dies in a QDP 4DP configuration. Severn supplies a software which is a basic SSD toolbox and a cloning software for their SSDs in general. So you have 176 layers of Micron TLC flash memory, endurance is 1400 TBW. Basically this is the enhanced version of the Rocket 4 Plus. The Rocket 4 Plus has 96 layer of TLC compared to the 176 layer TLC, so this is a great advantage. Now before we continue to other stuff that you might be interested in some specifications, let's check out the box content. So first of all it comes in a different box as you can see it's quite interesting because it uh, kind of changes the color but of course the box isn't that important as the SSD. But Rocket 4 Plus G has the complete different uh, design and here we go. So basically you get a booklet and we got the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus G right here and this is really cool because even the passive heatsink here on top has the same uh, shine on the colors going out through the M.2 SSD on the front side. So if you decide not to place your heatsink on it, even though that would be a shame to cool it even more and get stability in your performance, it's up to you to decide what to do. I do have to mention that this M.2 SSD is double sided so it has chips on both sides and this is quite important for you guys to know in addition to everything. Now for those extra specifications, they designed the O2 GO firmware which helps uh, this SSD to launch and uh, to make it much faster than the regular ones. Basically what I stated, the Direct uh, Storage API provides an optimized path to storage which can reduce CPU overhead and I.O. latency. The O2 GO firmware is uh, specially engineered to elevate uh, their cutting edge hardware to all new levels. This means that it sustains high levels of performance throughout your long gaming sessions without any performance issues in terms of uh, I don't know, transfer drops or anything similar to that. You can also acquire a passive heatsink which goes in the same colors as the Rocket 4 Plus G so you can expect some additional cooling from it because uh, something similar was already shown on my channel so you already have a glimpse of it. Now for some synthetic benchmarking then we'll go to the real world testing and of course 3D Mark. Now it's quite interesting because Autodisk benchmark shows that read speeds go up to 6.64 gigabits per second, write speed go up to 6.59 gigabits per second, which really places this SSD quite high. Now in Crystal Disk Mark, we have loads of benchmarks, of course, here. Crystal Disk Mark shows uh, read speeds 1758 megabytes per second, while the write speeds go up to 6856 megabytes per second. Uh, random 4K IOPS read go up to 
1,041k and right go up to 1,251k. Now there is also a real life scenario as I did with copying loads of files. So the write speed go up to 3.61 gigabits per second while the read speeds go up to 3.33 gigabits per second. Now in 3 Mark storage benchmarks, it got quite interesting results with 4,678 score and average in benchmarking your SSD on 3D Mark is 2,054, while the best score is 10,353. As we continue to other benchmarks in 3D Mark, we have uh, loading Battlefield 5, 1126 megabytes per second loading, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, 1027 megabytes per second, and Overwatch 482.29 megabytes per second. You also have some scores with recording the game, installing the game, save and moving the game, which average sums up to 797.13 megabytes per second. I would say an outstanding SSD and you would be shocked because uh, the speeds can't compare to some M.2 SSDs going up to 7.5 gigabits per second. But that isn't the issue here. We have a direct storage API for Windows 11 and of course we have the auto firmware which helps this M.2 SSD sustain high level of performance in some sort of a consistency which is really appreciated, I would say. Now to sum it all up with performance and benchmarks, the price is $299 and you could go with a cheaper version and uh, go with anything different that scores higher performance. But then again, you might consider this M.2 SSD just because of the future gaming and everything that I stated in this video. Of course, it's all up to you to decide which will be best for you. But then again, here we have the benchmarks. That's it for today. In the description, I'll place the links for all three versions of this. So one terabyte, two and four terabytes of storage for the Severant Rocket 4 Plus G. And that will be all for today. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and hopefully I will see you in future videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.